and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to do my review on the lyric graffiti this is the original lyric graffiti the 2022 model they now have uh sold out this bike and they have a new one the 2023 now but this is the review on the 2022 model so there's a look at the bike first of all go all the way around it here give you a look so let's start off with the motor so first of all there's the motor right down there that we've got a 2500 watt motor 52 volt it's a gearless hub motor it peaks at 4700 watts as you can see it's a pretty good size motor in there and then next we have the batteries so i've got the dual version so it comes in a single or dual and i, I opted for the two batteries so you got the one on the down tube there and you got one up here hiding up under the seat and both the batteries are 17.5 amp hour 52 volt which gives you a 35 amp hour altogether total the controller is a uh, 52 volt it is a 50 amp controller peaks at 90 amp Look under there you can see the controller it's hiding up under there I don't think you can really get a good look at it there but it's up there So uh, let's see so I would say the speed let's talk about the speed a little bit so it does top out at 38 miles per hour just about what they say I've had it up to about 39 37 on the flat so it's right in there about what they say it goes top speed there's a switch right here which is for on road which it's in when it's in and off road is out the button and that does make a big difference the on-road um, if you have an un, uh, assist level 9 which is the highest uh, pedal assist level that they have it will give you a uh, top speed I got it up to about 25 miles an hour with that so if you have it on level 1 you're going to be less than 20 so it does make a bit of difference uh, using the, uh, the speed levels it is a uh, belt drive as you see right there as opposed to chain uh, the controller i should mention it's a it's an asi bac 855 on this uh, bike nine pedal assist levels it's a cadence sensor i got a one speed It does have a uh, front suspension, does not have a rear on this bike. The suspension is a air spring front suspension and it has the adjustable rebound. It has 120 uh, millimeter of travel. The headlight let's talk a little bit about the headlight that, this headlight is the best i've ever seen on a bike i mean this headlight is totally awesome and um you're not going to beat this headlight it's i believe it's a 6000 lumen headlight it's totally awesome uh that light will shine kind of like a car with one headlight really it, it you couldn't ask for any more than that they they put the best light on there i gotta say tail light right there and uh i don't have the bike on at the moment but uh, trust me there is a brake light in there as well um and those are totally fine work well uh thumb throttle let's show you here 
that we do have a thumb throttle as opposed to a twist throttle. Now I didn't think I was going to like it, but I'll tell you after riding for a while I've kind of gotten used to it and I kind of like it. I don't mind it at all. I'm used to all the bikes having the uh, twist throttle, or half twist throttle at least, over here. So we got the four piston, I didn't mention the brakes, so we got four piston uh, Logan hydraulic brakes and uh, regen braking. So there's a look at the, you see the 180 millimeter rotors down there. And uh, one place up here at the front. And uh, the regen braking, I wanted to talk about that for a moment because this is the first bike I've had that has regen braking and I absolutely love it. I use this thing almost exclusively. It's right here, just a thumb. It's like the thumb throttle on the right, but it's a thumb uh, brake on the left. And uh, unless you have to come to a sudden stop, um, using that is great. It, it, it slows you down rapidly, but not instantly you're not going to come just to a skidding stop but as long as you don't have to do that then you're fine with using this pretty much exclusively saves your brake pads and plus it puts a little bit of juice back in your uh, uh back in your battery they say as much as 10 percent. i don't think it puts that much but i guess it depends on how much you use it and how much uh uh if you're uh, coming down a large hill and stuff like that long hill you're going to get a little more juice back in your battery but I just like it I just like the fact that you don't have to uh, you don't have to um, use your brake pads you know it just it's just easy to use I just love it let's talk about the tires a little bit here so you can see right there they are 20 by 4 uh, I don't think you can see without me turning it so here, let's go to this wheel. Here you can see that they are CST big boat uh, tires. And uh, I have had no issues yet. They don't have the most tread in the world, but um, they're still working for me. And uh, 500 miles in, four months old the bike is. I should have mentioned that. And um, the only thing I've had an issue with is the back tire. I did have a flat tire recently uh, running over a uh, roofing nail. But it wasn't a big deal. I mean, the nail was right there. I was able to just take the tire off, leaving the wheel on the bike and just pulling the tube out where the problem was and patching it and away we go again. It just it was a matter for me of finding the time to do it because I was busy and... Uh, didn't have the time to do it but here is a good look at the name of the tire right there big boat cst and they're not bad i, I they grip the road well for me uh, i do mostly uh road riding so uh they're a perfect kind of tire for me the bike does come with uh foot pegs for the uh, passenger Really nice foot pegs right there. I've never ridden a passenger on the bike. I probably not will not either, but um, never say never, I guess. The seat, let's talk about the seat for a moment. That's about as good as I've had for a seat on a bike. I guess the only thing would be nice is if you had this thicker padding all the way across the whole seat would even be better, but um, it's, great the seat's fine i like the position seating position on this bike for me i'm five foot nine and i sit right here and uh, just at the edge of the lip here and uh the positioning on this bike is is perfect for me I, I like the position when i sit on the bike i like the handlebars these are bmx handlebars they're perfect they're my favorite uh, style handlebars the grips I like these hand grips. I know people change stuff like that out, but I kind of like these. You know, I'm not looking for anything special on the hand grips. I don't care so much about that. Pedals are just fine for me. I mean, there are people that don't like the pedals and want to swap them out, but I, that's not my biggest uh, thing with the bike. I don't mind that at all. 
Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about with this bike? Uh, so the weight of the bike, I should mention the weight. So the weight with no batteries is 62 pounds. The uh, back rear motor there weighs a whopping 19.5 pounds, so quite a bit of weight there. And then the two batteries, so I think the 62 pounds they are including the weight of the uh, motor, but the 62 pounds does not include the battery weight. And each battery there weighs 8.8 .8 pounds, so you're looking at 17.6 added on to your 62, you're looking at about 78, 79 pounds say pretty close to 80 pounds on there uh, which is pretty lightweight and I can really notice the difference if I ride the uh, aerial rider grizzly and then get on this one this one feels so much more nimble and light big difference there the seat height in case you're wondering uh, is 31 inches uh, which is really good I mean if you're not if you're a shorter person the seat height on this bike is perfect my feet touch the ground flat, which is the way I like it. And so it's perfect for me. Uh, you can see the kickstand there. The only thing I've had with the kickstand an issue, and we all have this once in a while, is we have to tighten it up. Because we use it so much, in my case. But uh, not a big deal there. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else the range now they're saying range of 40 to 50 miles for one battery and 80 to 100 for two I've not done a range test on the bike so I don't know for sure but uh, I don't know what you I can't really guess and say I just know uh, that I have not done the test so that's all I can tell you uh, let's see uh, so the speed with the button I told you before about on-road and off-road over here, the gray button right there. Uh, so off-road, uh, I did mention that, right? The speed is 20 and 38. Uh, but I have had the uh, off-road or the on-road uh, speed up to 25 if you put it to pedal assist 9. Um, so the motor, I should mention too, the motor in the on-road mode is a 750 watt and peaks at a thousand so that's the legal uh mode and then the off-road is 2500 as i mentioned earlier peaking at 4700. so this bike is uh for anyone who's about five foot four all the way up to six foot three is what they say is good for this bike so unfortunately they no longer have the bike it's sold out and they have a new model and I can just tell you briefly that the new model is basically the same bike with some different components. So the frame, everything looks the same. The wheels uh, are the same, except for the motor. It, they've gone to a geared hub, less power, a smaller uh, controller, and the batteries are actually larger, uh, a little bit larger. But basically everything else and the colors of the bike are different this came in either black or the cement liquid or this off-white as you see right here i pretty much call it just a white bike though i love the black and white with the red pedals but uh so yeah it's pretty much uh the same other than those components i should mention too one more thing these are metal fenders and uh the fenders work really well I like the metal fenders and I like the fact that it goes well down the wheel here to cover you pretty good and right across in the front of the back wheel and same with up here it goes right around so that's a look at the Lyric Graffiti and as far as riding and comfort and all that this bike for me, if you've seen any of my videos in the past, this bike is totally awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, I like the style. I like the look. I like the feel when I'm riding. Um, it just fits me to like a glove, you know. It just It's just perfect. It's my kind of bike. And we'll see what happens in the future. They've got some uh, new ones coming out. Uh, like the Graffiti X is coming out. And uh, that'll be interesting to see. 
down the road a little more power and so uh, we'll see where that one goes and what that one looks like when it comes out but that's the Lyric Graffiti and uh, the only thing missing on this bike I would say um, that I would like to see is going to be on the Graffiti X the next one and that would be a full suspension would be nice and um, a little more zip particularly on the takeoff if I have one complaint it's probably that that it's a little bit slow on the takeoff but it doesn't take long a few seconds you know within five seconds or so you're up to speed you know you're going good and uh, extremely smooth bike I mean if you put a rear suspension on this bike I can't imagine how much more smooth it's going to be so um, yeah I absolutely love the bike and um, uh, so check out Lyric Cycles I mean you might like their uh, the other uh, graffiti the new one it, it may have a little bit less, po uh, less uh, power uh, as far as speed but I think takeoff I think it's going to be improved I think it's going to have a little more oomph on the takeoff uh, with the torque uh, but a little bit less on the speed but anyway I will leave a link in the description for the Lyric Cycles and there is a discount code in there if you use my uh, link get there use the uh, uh, discount code Oregon e-biker mark that's all one word Oregon e-biker market should save you it should work $150 off of any one of their bikes on their site so that's the Lyric Graffiti 2022 version the original so once again thank you for joining me on this video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much for subscribing. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment on this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. For the Lyric Graffiti 2022 original version. And until next time. Take care.